Hi, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to recover your deleted data that has been deleted from your OneDrive. So first you need to go to office.com and log in to one of the users account. For example, I have logged into Jerry Smith and Jerry is the normal user. If you go to your Microsoft 365 admin center and go to Active Directory and go to Jerry, you can see there is no administration role assigned to the Jerry. So he's the normal user. So you can see I have been logged into Jerry Smith and I'll go to Jerry Smith OneDrive so here I'm in my Jerry Smith OneDrive and I'll create some documents over here let's create some old document so this is the old document that I have created for Jerry and I'll save that file as um, and I'll save that document as 2007 document and then you can save it after that let me close it you can see 2017 document has been created so let's say I have click on that document and deleted that document so you can see Jerry has deleted that document and he asks the admin user that hey I have deleted my documents can you please recover that file then in that case you can uh, tell Jerry that you can go to recycle bin and then click on that file and then click on recycle uh, click on re restore but if he say like uh, I am not being able to restore because I don't know how to go to recycle bin in in that case you just need to log into your admin center office 365 admin center and then go to um, active users and then go to and after that you need to go to onedrive and then you need to click link to file so this will provide you access to his file and then go to that link so in that way you will be able to access Jerry's OneDrive account and you can go to recycle bin and then click on that file and restore that file on behalf of Jerry and after that you can ask Jerry hey I have been uh, restore your file you can go to your OneDrive and check if it's there and then Jerry goes to his account and click on his file and he, the file will be there you can see the file has been restored but sometimes what happened like if you go to active user and click on Jerry and go to OneDrive and then create a link to the file and click on that link so when you click on that link sometimes you not be able to see this recycle bin over here if this recycle bin is not here in that case how you will get to track that recycle bin so I'm gonna show you that you need to go to uh, your admin center and then click so all and then go to your SharePoint and log into the different account which is our administrator account so if you don't find your recycle bin then you need to go to your uh, SharePoint admin center and then you need to go to more features and then click go to user profile and click open and you need to click on manage user profile because we are going to manage user profile so here you need to find Jerry because we are going to manage Jerry's profile click on find and click on that checkbox and click on that down uh, drop down arrow and click on manage personal personal sites 
so when you click on that you will be definitely able to go to um, jerry's account and you will find your recycle bin over there if in case it's not in the both process are similar but if in case you couldn't find recycle bin going through like active user then you need to try another way you have to go to sharepoint and you have to track user profile so let's say if jerry deleted that file permanently then what happened so here you can see i am logging with jerry smith and you can see there is no documents in his my file because we already deleted that and if you go to recycle bin you'll be able to find that uh, that file in recycle bin but let's say let me delete that file from recycle bin as well so let's say we permanently deleted his file so in you can see there is no file in that case what you can do is you can go to your uh, admin panel and go to jerry click on jerry you can go to onedrive and then create link to access that file and then click on that and go to recycle bin remember if you can't find recycle bin here you can go to the sharepoint and find the user profile so from here you need to you need to track second stage recycle bin somewhere there on the bottom and then you need to click on that if you click on that you will definitely get that document and click on that and then restore that file so when you go to my file you'll be able to see that file on there so this is how you restore your permanently deleted file from sharepoint or from uh, microsoft 365 admin center so thanks for watching